Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 44 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So here I'm going to show you how to calculate simple interest. So the simple interest formula is pretty simple. It's the interest is equal to the principal, which is the amount of money we start with, multiplied by the rate of return, multiplied by the time that our money has been invested. So for a simple example here, we could say that we're going to start out with $1,500. So we're going to invest this money. So this is what we're starting out with. This is, would be our principal, the money we start with. And we're going to invest it at a return rate of, let's just say, 7%. And uh, then let's just say, we're to make it simple, we're just going to do a time of one year. So we're investing $1,500 at a return rate of 7% for one year. So to find the amount of interest that we will make in this one year period, we just simply plug these numbers into the simple interest equation. So I equals PRT. P is going to be the $1,500. R is going to be our rate, which is going to be 0 0.07 when we convert that to a decimal, multiplied by the time invested. It's just one year. So basically, we just multiply these three things together. It's really simple. You can plug that in, in on your calculator and you will find that this is equal to 105. So $105 basically would be the amount of interest that we would make on this investment in one year. So in the real world we usually do compounded interest, but since this is an intermediate algebra series, then I'm just going to show you the simple interest method. Um, if you're going to calculate things for more than one year, you should uh, look into doing some compounded interest. But for now, this is a good way to start out in learning how this stuff works. And uh, anyway, I'll talk more about compounded interest later in some different tutorials. But for now, let's try one more example. Let's say that we had $1,500 again. And this time, so we're starting with $1,500, but this time we found a better deal. Let's say we found an interest rate of 13%. But the thing is, is for some reason we're not able to invest the entire $1,500 in this 13% return. So what we'll say is we'll say that uh, for this deal, we're only allowed to invest $500 at a return rate of 13%. And so we still have $1,000 extra, so we'll go ahead and invest that $1,000 at the rate that we found the first time of 7%. So how much money will we make in one year? What is the interest going to be if this is our investment? So it's the same amount of money. We're going to split it up into two different investments and we're going to see how much interest we make after one year. So basically, the principal, we're going to have P1. The principal, the first principal is going to be $500. And the second principle, we'll call it P2, is going to be $1,000. And then we have a rate, R1, so that will be the rate corresponding to P1, and that will be 13%, so $500 at 13%. And then R2, we're going to invest the $1,000 at 7%, so that will be our second rate. And both the uh, T1 and T2, I'll just put T12 for T1 or T2, is still going to be one year. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of set it up the same way, but we're just going to have two terms. So we're going to make a certain amount of interest off of the first investment, and we'll find that by taking 500, which is our principal in the first case, multiply it by the rate, which is 0.13 for 13% multiplied by one year, and then we just add that to the second investment. So the principal of the second investment, our P is 1000, our R is 0 0.07, and our T is 1. So we have P times R times T plus P times R times T, two separate, in, um, two separate interests that are made off of two different investments, but uh, we're finding out what the total of the whole $1,500 is, so we just add them together. So 500 times 0.13 times 1 is going to give us 65. And 1,000 times 0 0.07 is going to give us 70. 65 plus 70 is $135.
So we're basically making $135 by splitting our money up into these two separate investments here. And uh, at the end, when we add this to what we started with, 1500 plus the 135 would give us 1635 as our total value at the end. So this is our interest that we made off of this deal. And in this case, this would have been our interest off of the first deal that we made. But anyway, that's some basics in calculating simple interest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next lesson in the Intermediate Algebra series. And uh, have an excellent day. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.